Hey guys, so today we're going to be making this ramen popping cooking and in this and in this set we're going to be making this ramen and this jaizo and it's going to be a lot of fun because it's all made out of candy and it's super fun and easy to make. So let's open this up and see what it has. So inside it has all these packets and little things so it comes with this, 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 some more of this, and oops, this. And it comes with this tray to measure, mix, and combine everything. And mine are just a little bit damaged, but that's okay. So let's start. First step to do this is to cut your tray in half. Ta-da! So after that, you're going to cut this little tab off and set this to the side. And so now you have these two main trays and what you're going to do is add water to both of them up to the fill line. So let's pour in some water. What off? And no, wait, don't add water to this one yet. So let's put this to the side. For this tray, you're going to want to add one scoopful of water. And now you're done with this, so you could just throw it away. And now we're going to mix in. Now we're going to add in the appropriate powders to each of the containers. So I already opened the soup powder, which is the smallest packet. And it smells really good. You're just going to add it like that. And stir it in until it is nicely dissolved, just like a regular soup Insta mix. And it should look like this. So now for the noodle mix, you're going to add this packet. The largest one of them all. And pour it right in. To the largest container, which you have added one cup full of water. The measuring tab, of course. And you're going to mix that in. Okay, so I finished mixing it up and it looks pretty interesting. It looks like very artificial butter. And um, that's how it should look like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on um, putting them inside of our little bag and in the soup. So, yeah. So the kit comes with this mini pastry bag and this toothpick, I forgot to say. You're going to use the toothpick to make the size of the noodles. So you're going to insert it inside and make a break through one of the corners. And I don't want a really big noodle, so I'm just going to stick it in halfway. After that, the toothpick has no use, so you're ready to go. So we're going to just insert, insert, put in the noodle mixture inside here. So just hold on. Okay, so now for the gyro, or gyro, or whatever you call it, uh, you're going to use this candy clay and... Cut it open and make sure you have clean hands because you don't want like dirty stuff going inside. So you're going to split this in half and it's kind of hard but just make sure they're even. There we go. And you're going to just flatten them out into two circles and I'll show you how that should look like. Okay, so now that everything 
has been flattened into some um, some small discs. What you're going to do is you're going to take one of them and put some of this, some of the veggies, like the fake veggies, which are just sprinkles. Try to aim for the center, just like that. I'm just going to press these in and I'm going to fold them in half and right now I'm just squeezing the top so I have enough of the dumpling skin or jaiso skin to fold and I'm usually really bad at this but I'll give it a go anyway and you're just gonna make these folds I know you guys I'm really bad at this Ugh, that's ugly. Okay, so I don't like how that turned out. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. Maybe I don't know, but it's getting really sticky. So I'm going to put this aside into my little container here. And make sure you don't use all the sprinkles because you're gonna have to add some into the soup too. So I'm gonna finish up with this and I'm going to pour in the noodles into the hot soup. I just microwaved it a bit, so it actually tastes like soup. Okay, so I am going to pour in the noodles. So this is really cool because um, they actually form, in, form into pretty cool looking noodles. And you'll soon see them as they come up to the top. Hmm, this is taking a while. <laughs> so you can start to see the noodles forming. It's really fun to do this too. And let me just squeeze whatever is remaining because I don't want to waste any of this. And yeah, it's just a little bit more. And that looks about done. So you're done with... Uh. So you're done with that and all you need to do now is add in the veggies. So just pour them on the top. I'm going to add some here. That looks super colorful, doesn't it? So, let's give it a try. So, let's give it a try on how it tastes. So, yeah. That's pretty good. So, the noodles, they don't taste much like noodles. Like, well, I forgot how noodles taste like. But, um, they're really, like, jelly-like and with the soup it tastes really good because it's beef flavored and uh, well the veggies just like sank to the bottom but that's okay so let's try one of our sticky jizo I'm just gonna add some of the sprinkles or veggies sorry Ugh. so here we go I messed it up Oh my gosh, that's really good. So, um, sorry, but this is really good. Hold on. Okay, so I just finished, and, um, that was really good. I mean, the Jaiso, it's like this really uh, chewy ramen, which is a Japanese soda, uh, gummy, or... No, like a haichu type consistency or whatever. Um, it was good. Um, I've tried this twice and I forgot how good this tastes like. But, wow, that's good. Um, I recommend you to heat up your soup when you do this or your broth because it makes your noodles taste a lot better. And yeah, so, so, 
I hope you liked this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!